this is one three inch this is three inch wafer type dual plate check valve it is installed in between two flanges like this and this is three inch 80 nb single plate or single flap check valve it is also wafer type and installed in between two flanges like this this dual plate check valve is having dual plate or dual flap these are two flaps and flaps or plates opens like this in horizontal plane like this and in case of this single flap check valve this is the single flap and flap opens in vertical plane like this like this in case of dual plate check valve flap opens in horizontal plane so only spring action is there there is no gravity action or we will not have to lift the flaps against gravity but in case of single flap check valve spring action and gravity action is there that means flap will have to be raised against gravity and against spring force now in case of dual plate or dual flap check valve this disc opening force is pressure into cross sectional area since two discs are there so force requirement is half but in case of single flap check valve this force requirement is full cross sectional area of the valve and pressure in case of dual plate check valve actually it is two check valves like this this is one and this is another so if one flap does not open then other flap will open and the valve will work but in case of single flap if the flap is not opened then valve will not work face to face dimension of this dual plate check valve is more this is the face to face dimension but face to face dimension of this single flap check valve is very less only this much so this valve is costlier means dual plate check valve is costlier and this single flap check valve is less costly dual plate check valves can be of with retainer like this like this these are retainers for retaining stopper pin and spring pin and can be of retainer less that means that means stopper pin or spring pin will not be projected outside so this design with retainer is not so good because there may be chance of leakage through it in case of high pressure valve or in case of valves under cryogenic service so we will prefer to have retainer less design that means these retainers will not be there these stopper pin will be inside the valve in the group but in case of this single flap check valve there is no such retainer so there is no chance of leakage through the body of the valve now coming to cross sectional area in case of this dual plate check valve for 3 inch check valve this cross sectional area is almost 3 inch here 3 inch 3 inch but in case of single flap check valve this opening diameter is about 2 inch only much lesser in case of single flap check valve this opening is much lesser only 
टू इंच अप्रोक्सीमेटली टू इंच बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स स्प्रिंग एंड दिस पीन्स सो मेनी थिंग्स आर दे आर ऑन द बैक साइड दैट्स वाई दिस क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया इज मच लेसर कम्पेयर टू डुएल प्लेट चेक वाल प्रेसर ड्रप थ्रू दिस डुएल प्लेट टाइप चेक वाल इज एप्रक्सिमेटली फिफ्टी मिली बार हुएर एज प्रेसर ड्रप थ्रू दिस सिंगल फ्लैप टाइप चेक वाल इज अबाउट एट टू टेन टाइम्स ऑफ डुएल प्लेट चेक वाल दैट मीन्स इफ इट इज फिफ्टी मिली बार देन फॉर दिस सिंगल फ्लैप चेक वाल इट इज फोर हंड्रेड मिली बार और फाइव हंड्रेड मिली बार सो प्रेसर ड्रॉप थ्रू दिस सिंगल फ्लैप चेक वाल इज वेरी हाई दिस इज ड्यू टू दि स्प्रिंग एक्शन एंड ड्यू टू लिफ्टिंग ऑफ द डिस्क एगेंस्ट ग्रेविटी एनदर रीजन ऑफ मोर प्रेसर ड्रॉप थ्रू दिस सिंगल फ्लैप चेक वाल इज द एरिया दिस एरिया इज मच लेसर कम्पेयर टू क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ दिस डुएल प्लेट चेक वाल इन डुएल प्लेट चेक वाल टू फ्लैप आर दे आर इच फ्लैप कवर्स अबाउट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया हेल्स इच फ्लैप हिट्स बैक द सीट एंड दिस फोर्स इज लेस एंड लॉन्गिविटी ऑफ फ्लैप एंड सीट इज मोर बट इन केस ऑफ सिंगल फ्लैप टाइप वाल दिस फोर्स इज मोर रिजल्टिंग डैमेज ऑफ डिस्क एंड सीट इन केस ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ सिंगल फ्लैप चेक वाल फ्लैप विल हैव टू ट्रेवल मोर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फुल ओपन टू फुल क्लोज कंडीशन टाइम रिक्वायर टू रीच टू फुल क्लोज कंडीशन फ्रॉम फुल ओपन कंडीशन इज मोर which can cause back flow and water hammer this type of dual plate check valve is also called butterfly type check valve because disc opens like a butterfly and another reason is that body of this dual plate check valve can be converted to a butterfly valve if required this valve is single flap check valve but not swing check valve in case of swing check valve there will be heavy disc and spring will not be there and entire valve will be in housing and hinge will be there disc will be opening against the hinge and will be closed due to weight spring will not be there in case of this dual plate check valve there is less possibility of debris accumulation that means there will be less possibility of disturbance but in case of this single flap check valve there will be more possibility of debris accumulation in this pin zone and in this annular zone so this dual plate check valve should be installed in between two flanges and sandwich type this single flap check valve will also be installed in between two flanges like this sandwich type the valve is having serration on both side this side and this side for gasket leak tightness and this valve is also having serration this side like this and this side also serration for gasket leak tightness this is the serration so dual plate check valve will be installed like this so that hinge pin or retainer will be in vertical plane and dual plate or dual flaps will be opening in horizontal plane like this and and single flap check valve will be installed like this so that flap will be opening in vertical plane like this for both this valve this valve and this valve 
at upstream side this side we should have about 5d straight length so that steady state flow will come to the valve otherwise valve flaps will be chattering like this like this and spring will be damaged and at downstream of the valve 3d straight length should be there that is called pressure recovery zone so this is single flap check valve valve opens like this and this is the spring and these two are pin now i am removing the spring 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 can be removed like this this and this side like this so this is the spring actually this is stainless steel we are this is the spring spring has been removed now valve is like this this is the swing disc and soft seal is there this is the soft seat this black one this is the soft epdm or viton or nitrile seat soft seat is there so we get leak tightness through this soft seat but if the spring is not there then there may be backflow or valve may be leaking now i am mounting the spring again so this spring has been mounted and valve opens like this and this valve opens like this this is the full open condition since pressure drop through this single flap type check valve is much more compared to dual flap or dual plate type check valve so always it is better to use dual plate type check valve